Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mark Sherman with Ronnie Vall Real Estate. Uh, we're here today at a very special hilltop. It's known as the Lion's Head here in Cerritos. Uh, it's got 360 degree views of the entire area. Uh, you see the Gavilan area behind me uh, and the large hilltop, the highest hilltop in Cerritos, Cerro Gavilan. We're gonna talk, or I'm gonna talk a little bit today about one of the factors that has really uh, accelerated the pace of the growth in this area, and that's the highway system. And what a lot of people don't realize who have not been visiting the area for a long period of time is that 10 years ago, we didn't have this four lane highway that runs between Cabo San Lucas and La Paz. We had a very narrow two lane highway with no shoulder, and the majority of the bridges that are currently in place did not exist either. So the drive just between Pescadero and Cabo San Lucas uh, became exponentially easier in 2012. What happened in 2012, that was when Cabo San Lucas hosted the G20 summit and there was a big push to complete this highway system prior to the G20 summit in order for all of the politicians and diplomats to take a day trip to La Paz. So the highway system, the four lane, was completed in 2012, along with, I think roughly 80 bridges. Don't quote me on that, it could be more or less, but the majority of these bridges did not exist. And prior to the existence of those bridges during hurricane season, when water was flowing over the road, it could prevent you from coming or going from Cabo San Lucas. So 2012, we got this beautiful four lane highway with wide shoulders on both sides. I mean, it's a dream highway, all scenic if you're not familiar with it. Incredible views of virgin untouched beach all the way from Cabo to Pescadero. In 2016, there's another factor that took place that changed the whole game probably even more so than that four lane highway, which is the bypass highway from the airport. We got the toll road in 2016, which connects the international airport to this beautiful four lane highway. So the result of these improvements to the highway system is that not only is the drive safer and easier than it ever used to be, but it's now 30 minutes to the outskirts of Cabo and roughly an hour or an hour and 10 minutes to the international airport via this highway system. Uh, that changed everything. Prior to these two highways, it was a three hour trip each direction to the airport on uh, a road that many people were not very comfortable traveling on, especially not during nighttime during those years, most of the locals tried to make it back before night because the highway was just a two lane highway with no shoulder and there were animals on it. So everything has changed. The highway is safe. It couldn't be easier to drive on. Not only does it make coming and going from the international airport easy, it makes going to Cabo for errands, shopping, whatever it is that you might need to do there uh, as smooth and as easy as it could be. So in my opinion, that highway system just opened the doors massively, so to speak, for the development of this area. It couldn't be easier now to arrive at the international airport and via two brand new smooth highway systems, you're in Pescadero in an hour to an hour and 10 minutes, just depending on how you drive. So there you have it. That's the history of the highway system. And again, one of the factors that in my eyes really, really opened the doors to the development of this area. Uh, if you guys have any questions, WhatsApp is the best way to reach me. Uh, send me a message on WhatsApp and I will return it at my earliest convenience. Thank you guys.